Ignacio Cassis, the president of the Swiss Confederation, thank you for talking to DW. Today's conference comes and builds up on the Lugano principles, a conference that took place in July in Switzerland. This is not a normal donor conference, as President Chancellor Scholz said. Why does Ukraine need another conference without financial pledges by the ones who are coming to this conference? The short answer could be because there are so many open questions that need to be clarified and need to be answered. And the longer answer is uh, uh, in Lugano, we started a process with a kickoff conference uh, uh, which defined the seven principles uh, on the base of which uh, the, rec the recovery process should be built on. And now, to answer the questions that are posed by this recovery process, we need to have scientific evidence. We need to learn uh, from the history. What lessons uh, did we learn from the history in the reconstruction plan, in the Marsh plan, and so on? And this conference is a kind of scientific conference to clarify the open questions. You recently went to Ukraine, you went to Kiev, and you want Ukraine to see Switzerland as a reliable partner. How do you expect that, considering that citing um, neutrality, you don't supply weapons to Ukraine? That's something that they're looking forward and have been asking for for months now. Well, the fact to be neutral is a reason more to be seen as a, a reliable partner. Since we cannot uh, deliver uh, uh, weapons, we cannot uh, be part of the military um, of the war, uh, then we have to be more present on the humanitarian uh, assistance, uh, on the diplomatic efforts in order to, uh, one, find a solution to, to a ceasefire, to stop the war, but uh, what uh, are the immediate needs now is to be ready to face the coming winter. And this, the correct answer is the humanitarian ass assistance. We have to deliver material, know-how, technology, um, electricity, uh, infrastructure has been destroyed by, uh, by bombs and by missiles. So we can um, make a contribution to repair and to re-establish the necessary infrastructure in order for the people to pass the winter. Moscow says it does not see Switzerland as a neutral partner anymore. What does that mean for the role that you could play as a possible mediator? And not only when we look at the role of the war in Ukraine, but also the talks about the war in Syria that are happening in Geneva. Well, we are acting in this uh, war exactly the same way uh, like we were acting in every other wars. We never delivered weapons or troops or uh, let our territory be used for, uh, for uh, foreign troops and so on. This is our role. This is our, uh, we, we act according to international law and international law on neutrality are clear, have been clear for more than 100 years. This doesn't mean that we do not stand for the values that are written in our constitution. Neutrality doesn't mean indifference. And we belong to the Western values, to the Western families, and we are geographically there where we are, in the middle of Europe. We are a European country, and this uh, is compatible with neutrality. How would you define the difference between neutrality and being indifferent to what's happening in Ukraine with countries, for example, not condemning the war in Russia? Uh, can they say it's also neutrality or would there be indifference because, yeah, maybe they're siding with Russia on that side? I would use the, the, the word of indifference or of positioning uh, of other countries. Neutrality is a, a legal word uh, based upon international law. Neutrality is not just a, a, um, a feeling or, a, or a, a moment in time. Neutrality is a permanent neutrality, is a weapon neutrality. We have an army in Switzerland and we... Uh, we are acting according to this international law. Uh, nevertheless, we uh, adopted the EU sanctions because we are convinced that this was the right instrument to uh, stop this war, to, to, to let uh, Russia stop the war, probably not very in the short term, but in the medium term. And uh, this is the way that Switzerland chose to go, but the same way. We already choose to go with other wars. We have adopted many, many sanctions from the UN and from the Euro before these sanctions. Do you see any possible peace talks between Ukraine and Russia happening in the near future? Could they, for example, happen in Switzerland? 
principally yes, of course, but in, in this very moment it is difficult to imagine such a diplomatic effort because uh, now it's time for the military part of the Both parts are convinced they can win the war and the space for diplomacy is in this very moment really, I don't think it is given. Ignacio Cassis, the president of the Swiss Confederation, thank you so much for talking to DW. Thank you too.